Imagine you're an opening batsman for Team India and your debut is against Australia. So you're in Australia, you're going to be playing there for the next two months. It's a five match test series. This is your debut match, the first match ever across all formats for India. First ever international match. And you're out there, you're going to face the first ball of the first innings of the first match uh, of the five match test series. And up ahead against you is Mitchell Stark. You, he's known to be like a very, you know, quick and a very intimidating bowler. Okay. The first ball of the whole series, he bowls an in swinger and you get duck out. What happened? Hello and welcome to another video. If you've not done as per your expectations in the first attempt of J-Main, this video is for you. Please do watch till the end. Don't take away half information because it might prove harmful. Okay. Coming back to the cricket match, uh, you've gotten back out on your first ball and it's bold. Okay. Once the umpire has given you out, there's nothing you can do except walk back to the pavilion. Okay. Now, when you're in the pavilion, you can say, oh, I should have defended, I should have done a front foot defense instead of like a back foot, whatever you did that got you out. You can analyze how he bowls and all of that, but to a certain extent, uh, whatever happened in the first inning and your wicket is pointless. Okay. There's no point crying over spilt milk. There's no point saying that, oh, I should have defended. Why did I go for the drive and stuff like that? Okay. But what can you do? You should realize that this is just the first innings of the first test match. There's still the second innings of the same test match. There are four more test matches left. This is a two months long series, okay? Now, I'm pretty sure you got the analogy by now, but Jamie's first attempt is just the first ever exam of this long two, three month period. It's going to go on until June, I guess, depending on which exams you want to give. Also, give all exams because I made this mistake. Uh, when the Bitsat ka, like news thing came out, I said, Ki, oh, I'm only gonna crack it in the first attempt. I don't even want to register for the second attempt. But I ended up getting into bits because of the second attempt of Bitsat, okay? So don't be like too arrogant, give all exams, okay? Before we move on, let me just tell you my story. So in my first attempt of uh, JE main, I got 93.5 by getting just like 90 odd marks because mine was the toughest shift of all, okay? Then in the second attempt, I actually got more marks around 120 or something like that, above uh, 110 for sure. But my percentile in the second attempt was just 90 because uh, A, I think mine was an easier attempt and B, a lot of more, many more people were prepared for the second attempt as opposed to the first attempt because you have that, you know, one month or two months or whatever extra. Ours was just one month because June and July, but you guys have like Jan to April. So that has to be like a huge factor. More people prepare, are prepared for the April attempt because bro, three more months plus boards are done. So they've studied at least for that portion. Boards are largely NCRT depending on which board you are. I'll try to make a separate video for that. But yeah, most people are more prepared for the second attempt compared to the first attempt. So you need to keep this in mind that the competition is much, much more for the second attempt as opposed to your Jan attempt. If you have cleared, uh, you know, gotten more than 90 odd percentile, then you've cleared it. Uh, now you need to focus on either A, improving your percentile or B, going all in for J advanced. That's a choice you have to personally make. I'm just here to sort of help you along the way, okay? Now, back to the cricket match. One thing that you have learned from your, you know, golden duck experience is that you probably suffer a bit against the instinct, right? So what can you do about it? Uh, in the free time that you get before the second inning start, when you're just like maybe sitting around when your team is batting, or when you're feeling, keep thinking about this, think about how to defend against the in-swinger or maybe even go like an inside-out drive for the in-swinger. Then also think about how the other bowlers will try to attack you. Maybe Hazelwood might put those bouncers and sort of try to get one past you, okay? You might nick it when you're going for the uppercut or something like that, okay? These are things you need to keep in mind because suppose you messed up in say chemistry in J.E.M.A.N. Then you need to figure out which chapters you're weak in in chemistry or which chapters are too tough for you in maths and maybe uh, watch just one shots of that or try to help, you know, get help from your friend or teacher or whatever, okay? You know what you are weak at because you got duck out because you did bad in J.E.M.A.N.S. Okay? Now you know what you're bad at or like not that good at, okay? This is like a very good thing because A, data. Whether it be, you know, writing exams or content creation or whatever else you're doing, data is super important. You'll learn this as you go further also if you build a company or whatever. Okay, so if you know what not to do, focus on those weak links, okay? That is for JE main specifically and other such bits at and all those exams where uh, the uh, breadth that you do over syllabus is much more important than how, you, how deep you go in each chapter. Uh, most chapters, you need to have at least like a surface level understanding, uh, either NCRT or like whatever else. Maybe just like a two hour one shot of each chapter is at least required because uh, many times you might combine chapters and give you one question, okay? So you need to know a bit of say electromagnetism and a bit of AC circuits and all that because they might come combined in some questions, okay? 
now coming on to the uh, you know the whole thing ki okay this was my first shot and i messed it up i have failed at kpty ugee 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 whatever or uh, jee advanced uh, manipal sort of uh, even the srm thing i couldn't give properly because the camera thing was a bit faulty uh, vit i got like a I'm very bad rank and many more exams bit sad first attempt and so many other exams okay but here's the thing the world doesn't care about all your failures they only care about the one victory like for example nobody cares that i didn't crack uh, jee advanced okay some people care but they care that i cracked bit sad and i'm in bit goa now okay you only need one win to prove all the other people wrong to silence all of those people who you know keep talking about your failures and even to silence your inner devil or whatever you have that saying ki bro you suck or whatever okay? you just need one win okay and uh, you know over the next two or three months you just need to get one win in these competitive exams board exams are obviously are there please try to get 75 because i know a lot of people who have who have cracked jee main bit sad and all but they don't have the 75 criteria so please study for boards too i know way too many people who keep like asking me in comments and dms and all ki boards mein mera utna nahi hai after giving improvement exams this that try to eliminate the whole improvement exam over all things study for boards it's very similar to your jee and all except you just have to write derivations and uh, numericals and stuff like that okay now moving forward to you know the like it's 3 months right so you will be burnt out and all okay eventually so you need to figure out a way to sort of keep yourself motivated i used to have gym jams now i have bourbon every now and then to keep myself motivated by studying or while recording videos and stuff it can be as simple as bourbon or as you know complex as playing spider man after every 3 hours of study something like that something that keeps you sort of rejuvenated maybe go for a swim or a run or walk whatever it does best for you okay so yeah i think that's pretty much it for this video uh, also please don't spend time watching more of these strategy or these videos everybody just wants to make money off of your anxiety and like time okay and attention so uh, please make this one of the last videos that you want to see before your boards at least because they'll be in feb march or whenever you have your boards study for boards but also parallelly study for competitive exams you just need one win okay one win can change everything That's it for now. All the best. Uh, keep studying, and if there's anything uh, you need, just comment or check out strategy.card.co, and that's it.